Hello! Welcome to Friday. We went to bed at 9 p.m. 8 p.m. Well, I went to bed at 9 p.m. Oh. You went to bed at 8 p.m. We went to bed early. We woke up at 11 a.m., which is a lot of sleep. But that's also because we were completely exhausted yesterday, and we've been exhausted for a long time. Because we haven't been getting enough sleep. I know you've been recording, so you haven't been getting enough sleep. Yeah, like, so, I've been sleeping like four to six hours for the last week and a half. So everyone just kind of crashed, and we slept, which is great. Um, now we're going to do a gift exchange, because we have some caps. Gift Pia. Gift what? <laughs> it's a Japanese GameCube game we never got. Oh. But it has a cool title, Gift Pia. I wish we got it, because I like the name. So those are somewhat similar gifts, so we figured that you oh. should open those. Thanking you for the body cloth. That's what it is. It's a body cloth. You guessed it. Okay. How did you know? I guess I'll go first because I identified it. Okay, go. Enjoy the body cloth. The, oh, oh, all the way from Japan. Ooh, I've, that's some body I've cloth. never actually visited a Pokemon Center before. Uh, oh, yes. Thanking you for the body cloth. <laughs> It's a body cloth. Oh, yeah. That's awesome, but I've, I've used an Arcanine twice in a Let's Play, so that's really good. <laughs> Wait, I'm really happy. Wait, I'm really, really happy. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my so, god. So. I am the great papyrus. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh my god. The Arcanine is from the Tokyo store. Mal and I got that while we were in Tokyo in May, which is pretty cool. And Papyrus is actually not out yet, but... I don't think he is. Yeah, he's on pre-order, he's on pre-order oh but, but the people at Fangamer are very nice. <laughs> oh that's God. a pre-release Papyrus. Oh yeah, you're probably one of the only people that has one, at least for the next few days, so I guess have fun with that. Can, can I brag on Twitter? If you want. Yeah, I'm gonna brag on Twitter. Oh my God. Oh my God, he's <laughs> Oh my God, he's so soft. Ah. Cool. Merry Christmas. Thank Thank you so much! Oh my god! Yeah. ago, but I had more for you. Okay. Uh, this is technically something you both benefit from, so... Okay, Matt, why don't you open it? Since I have a camera. Because you can both technically use this. Reach into the donuts again! I mean, it was such a hit the first time, I thought I'd just reuse the wrapping. <laughs> do, 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 do! Start with this one. What is it? Oh, is this the... Oh, that's cool! So that lets you actually use the uh, the Xbox One controllers. And then this That's is awesome. the other thing. That's really cool because I've been using Xbox 360 controllers for like forever, and now I can actually use a newer controller. The wireless. Oh, oh That's my a god. Stand. That is a cool. For batteries as well. That is awesome. Especially because we have one for uh, PS4, but we do not have one for Xbox. This is very neat. Thank you. What? Oh my God, that's heavy. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. It. Oh my. It's such a heavy controller. Well, it has. Okay, it's a customizable controller, so it has extra buttons and sticks in there. Yeah, I'm. I'm vaguely familiar with these. I think Dan might have one. Holy crap! I know you can change out like some of the stuff, and it's got. It's got like the little flap triggers on the back. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Emil. Mm -hmm. I I thought with how much PC gaming you do and you boot into Windows and all those things. Yeah. And other, yeah, I thought that'd be good. Yeah, and I mean I can even use this for like Fallout 4, so that's exciting. I don't know exactly know how this will this will work because I've never had one of these crazy controllers. You wanna open it and hold it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Kirby likes my shoes. How are those shoes, Kirby? They smell like Emil's feet. <laughs> It comes in a pouch. <laughs> That's fancy. That's good for travel, though. Mr. Lab. Wow. Holy crap. Yeah, it's made of metal. It's got the Call of Duty flaps. Yeah. So you can, you can, like, assign these to shoot, and then you can shoot without having to, like, move your thumbs and your fingers too much. You just go bang, bang. 
Mm-hmm. That is wild. Thank you, Emil. Yeah, there's a D pads, there's sticks, there's other buttons. You can. Um, it also, if you have, if you're using it with Xbox One, it allows custom button mapping for all games, whether or not they have it normally or not. Wow. That is crazy. That's very cool. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Well, what I do with uh, my Xbox One controller is I keep it on that stand. I keep the batteries in the compartment in the back, and then just whenever I want to pick it up, because I have a wireless adapter, it's just touch of a button, and I'm playing a game on PC. And it'll be nice to actually play on PC using the Xbox One controller and not having to use the 360 controller. Or have a cord stretched across the room when I play. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought that benefits both of you. Yeah, mm-hmm. thank you. It's a little dinky, a little silly. <laughs> I like, I like silly. Cute, stinky, and silly. Stinky. <laughs> is it also stinky? It's not stinky. It's, well, it's, it's not stinky. Is it cheese? It's not cheese. Is it oh, Limburger cheese? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that is so cute. It's sagging. It is. That sagging. that is neither dinky nor silly. <laughs> I mean, it is extremely I think the cute. Real thing is based on might be stinky, but <laughs> yes. Okay, that that much is true. Yes, it is based on actual stinky objects. Do you want to open that, or you want me to? Uh oh my god! Can't get my hand out of it. Oh, the, the die fell down. Look at that. Oh my god! And it can hold. It can hold the die. <laughs> oh my god! I love them. It's the same for um, Sagan, but I didn't oh. have a second die. Oh, under Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah, they're supposed to be like displays. Oh. I love that. Yay. Holy crap, they are so stinking cute. <laughs> it's just like And you. they look just like them. Yay, I'm so glad. Thank you, Masay. That is, they're just, they're awesome. <laughs> they're so yeah, cute. I'll, I'll vouch for her. She's been working very hard on those. Oh, they're awesome. <laughs> Um, it's really funny because I had to, I had to like scour the vlog channel to try and find like videos of Sagan and Kepler. <laughs> like, but can I just say that for some reason, you guys never, ever show the left side of Kepler. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm really frustrated. You One of his like... sides looks like a world map. Is that the one you got to see all the time, or the other? I think it was the world map side, but I could just never see the little side. <laughs> I was like, no. That's you so even funny. Have his fo- he has yeah. one little black I- mark on his forearm. Yeah, it's that one. Sur- yeah, very like surprisingly accurate. Yay! I'm so glad. That is awesome. <laughs> That's funny to me that apparently we have never shown like the one side of, of Kepler. You have to rectify that. You have to answer the the deep burning question. When when we go home, we'll just do like a ten minute video just showing like one side of the cat. <laughs> All sides of the cat. <laughs> Masay. Ah. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah, ah. it's the Undertale art book. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god, thank you. I saw this and I like. <laughs> freaked I show her every time Fangammer releases pictures of their new stuff and she's like, oh, my wallet. I, I just cried. He, he like showed it to me and I was like, oh my god, no. It, it is a very Undertale Christmas. It is a very. I mean, not all of it. Okay, well, it's a, it's a somewhat slash mostly Undertale Christmas. Toby Fox should make a, a hack of Undertale. And it's a Christmas scene. And all, one. all the sprites are claymation. Yes. <laughs> yes. A very Undertale Christmas. I really want to look at this, but I can't get it. It's a really good book. Plastic. It's designed to never be opened. <laughs> I will figure it out. It's a. Uh, it's beloved by collectors. Yeah. <laughs> Specifically for collecting. The inside of the book is blank. <laughs> oh my god! And it has the little ear name here at the beginning. Proud owner of Blank Farm. It's cool because it's like, it's not just informational, you know, it's like an art book also. Yeah. So that looks interesting to wrap. Kids <laughs> might be slightly fragile. Okay. So you guys got me the Darko Arcology from SimCity 2000. Um, I would start by kind of undoing some of this. Okay. There's like a top wrapping and then the box is just wrapped, but the thing is in the box. It's actually a small coffin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think you beat me with my guess. Uh, a lot of a lot of wire framey stuff. Is it? 
My current guess based on what I've seen is a toilet paper holder. Yep. It's a big <laughs> toilet paper holder. That had a lot more to it than I thought. Oh. You may uh, I'm just gonna... Assist with... <laughs> <laughs> I saw a metal bar and that was my guess. Uh, oh, hang on. Remember that time when you said it was fragile? Yeah, if you kind of just undo all the bottom, you should be able to slide that top part off. Okay, I'm doing that. I'm trying to be careful. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna catch it now. The hardest thing to wrap it. Right now, you're a part of the gift. It's really great. <laughs> okay, you can just be able to pick up the top. <laughs> so it's a lamp, oh, an NES controller. You should be able to just grab where your left hand is and lift it up. But watch out for that light bulb. What? Just lift. Oh, shoot. That is a custom lamp that Mallory built. Whoa! What? Mallory built One that. What kind Mal makes? I gotta wonder what these shells were originally. Don't know. I, I know you. Yeah. They were all broken stuff that they had, and they were like, "Here." Yeah, we asked if they had any stuff that was no longer functional that we could repurpose. Well, I know definitely the room this is going in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's probably a fitting room in your home for that. But yeah, oh, it's. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. It's cool. It's uh, it was interesting to watch Mal like build that. Is there um, going to be a video of this on the channel? Yeah. Sort of, but it's not the whole thing. It's just bits and pieces. Because okay. Stephen was busy working, so he'd come out and like film a little bit, but I had already done a lot of it. Okay. Yeah, so you actually get to kind of see the process by which Mal made it. Oh, I'll definitely. I've watched every video on Mal makes up to this point. It'll so. be on the vlog. Oh, There's okay. not a Mal makes for it. Maybe one day Mal will do some lamp creation videos. I don't know. <laughs> the hot glue gun tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank yes, you, thank you. This is, this is very wonderful. It does look like a coffin, though, from the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It is a coffin. It's like gaming will be my end. And it's actually very good timing, though, because I actually didn't own an NES until last month. Really? Yeah. Hmm. So it's actually very well timed with that. I am an idiot. <laughs> I saw the box. It was from this perspective mm -hmm. when I opened it. I thought this was like... Moisturizer for contact lenses. Okay, no. You know what? I thought the exact same thing. When I saw it, I was like, why did you put contact lenses? I was like, why is, there, I was like, why is, there, why is there contact solution? I thought you might need some. <laughs> for Christmas, you get a lamp and contact lens solution. How did you know? <laughs> We just finished playing Flashpoint, and we played on the hard side, the hard, the hard map. map, and no one died. We saved literally everyone, and oh. there was one explosion the entire game, and there was almost no fire. Like, barely any fire. In this fact, there was- like the most fire. There was a lot of times where Emil was driving the truck, and a lot of times Emil had to skip his turn because there was nothing to do. There was nothing to for do. me to do. I just- uh, if I had like 8 AP, I just- I fired- I did an action twice just because I had to spend my AP to not waste it. Like, that was crazy. Like, I began many turns with 8 AP. It was just ridiculous. There was there was a few times where Emil had completely cleared out all of the fire in a quadrant and was like, well, I guess I'll there just was... sit in the truck. <laughs> For a lot of the game, there was just smoke. There wasn't even any fire. Like, this yeah. is like the most fire we saw all game. Because I, I would, like, roll and just clear out an entire quadrant. When we played with... um. Tim and John, the game started in the entire center of the house was on fire, and the entire <laughs> game, it was always on fire. It kept exploding too, yeah. Yeah. So and it, it kept filling out. And the and the house almost collapsed. Uh, and in this one, it's like, oh yeah, I think there's like a hole in a wall somewhere, and that's it. We had to chop a hole out of the closet to get out and save the last person. All these pieces left. Yeah. Wow. That okay, well, good job. We, uh, we played Dead of Winter, and um, a few notable things happened. For one, it was the bleakest game I've ever seen. Um, Mal got voted off the island early. I'll go, Very early. I'll go one turn. I'll go into that in a minute, because that's hilarious. Um, so it was just me, Matei, and Emil trying to survive, and it did not go well. There were so many zombies that we were running out of resources just trying to keep them at bay, and it ultimately came down to... There was a possibility of getting enough food to kind of survive one more round, and we had to roll a dice and not die instantly, and I died instantly. But what was fun is that um, whenever you play this game, there's a chance that someone could be a betrayer, and uh, <laughs> when you have a betrayer, every round you're trying to contribute to a particular crisis, like you need a particular resource, 
And a lot of times the portrayer will try and screw that up because they want the group to fail by submitting the wrong resource on purpose. So for this one particular round, the first round, we needed tools and someone contributed fuel. And the only people that contributed were Masse and Mao. So we knew one of them was the betrayer. And it was like, okay, so one of you are the, the betrayer, so we'll move on. And then, um, was it, Masse, was it you that said that? Yeah, I, I, was, I said like, oh, well, I wonder who put the that next, fuel the in next there. The crisis was, we needed fuel. In oh, that's right, yeah. The betrayer wouldn't have added. <laughs> that's right. With the next crisis, after we finished that one, we needed fuel. And that's when Masse was like, yeah, if the, if the betrayer hadn't put fuel in like, the first time, then we would have fuel for this crisis. And Mal said, well, how was I supposed to know? <laughs> and everyone just stared at her like, and then she like, her face got blood red and she's like, oh God. It's red now. So um, she revealed herself round one that she was the person that sabotaged it. And we immediately voted her out of camp. But she ended up doing a lot better than us because we really probably needed a fourth person to fight the zombies and we didn't have her, so we actually did not so good. But we all lost. Yeah. So that's an We all I, failed miserably. Yeah. We tried though. Doggone it, we we that we did so pretty close. good. Like we got we got to I... round we got to the second to last round if we could have just survived a little bit more. I think I think might I, have been able to do it. I think I fought beautifully. Like I rolled sixes like every single roll. Yeah. yeah. I had like characters that could double attack, characters that could fight cheap, and I was just able to well, do so much damage. Excuse me, but I gave you a bunch of those weapons. <laughs> <laughs> With your weapons and my insane luck, we we kicked ass. We killed lots of zombies. There was a lot of situations where like it would come down to someone rolling something good, and then we managed to do it again was that, and again. Wasn't it like that? Yeah, the first time I rolled six, 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 and then I had another round where I rolled five dice, and three of them were sixes again, and then two of like, the other two were fours. And honestly, you had a bunch of followers to in order to do a bunch of damage at the colony in the first place. Because yeah. if you wouldn't have had all those people, there's no way we would have survived that long. Yeah, I, I was the reason we survived the second to last round because I just I killed like I think you by killed myself, six I killed, people. I killed six zombies yes. by myself. And we had to kill eight to survive, so and you in, did most of the work there. And in killing those six, I took one damage. And then we had like a billion useless people oh, yeah, in the building. Was, that's the reason we lost the game. Yeah. Is because there's, uh, in the game, there's helpless survivors, and they don't help you in any way. All they do is eat your food. So we had to contribute all of this food every single round to keep them alive, and it was, it killed us. It's, that was probably ultimately our downfall. Because we had to spend all of our resources finding food to feed people who weren't doing anything. That was terrible luck, though, because we just kind of drew bad cards. We kept drawing new people, and it's like, uh, what do we do? Yeah. Not much you can do in that situation. But we tried. Yeah, we also got that one card, that one, um, that one event where it was like, oh, kill all of the survivors, and, and it oh, was yeah. great. But we would have lost instantly. Yeah, there was one that actually let you kill all of the helpless survivors, but you we lost- We just had too many. You lost morale, which you have to keep high enough to survive, and it would have killed us. So, yeah, that was that was the bleakest game of Dead or Winter I've ever played, but still entertaining, if nothing else. Um, anyway, uh, I'm actually gonna end the vlog, because we should probably go to bed. Yep. We've gotta get up and drive. We are heading out tomorrow. We've got to leave you guys. I'm sorry. No. We'll be back. Okay. I'm sorry. You look very sad. You also kind of you kind of look like Donkey Kong. That's actually an even better Donkey Kong. Wow, that's that's really impressive. Hers or mine? No, yours. Oh, I was wondering what face she was making. I couldn't. See it. <laughs> Do you want to end the vlog? I don't think I've, you've had a chance yet. What? Oh, um. It kind of looks like a heart. No, he ended it. He, he ended it yesterday. Oh Don't yeah! Spoil <laughs> <laughs> Don't spoil the surprise. Yeah, you said something about butts or something. What? What did he say? It was. I don't know, but that. Corn and poop. It was corn and poop. Remember? I, I believe and the you. The title is. <laughs> corn and poop. <laughs>